It's Mother's Day, amen? But before mothers become mothers, they are wives first, right? Let me um, share with you something before we start about women or women. In her childhood, a woman wants what? Love and protection. And then in her teen years, a woman wants excitement. In her 20s, a woman wants romance, right? So they get married usually at that age. And in her 30s, a woman wants appreciation because usually in that marriage state, yeah, you do so many things, you want appreciation. And in her 40s, a woman wants sympathy. And in her 50s, what does a woman want? A woman wants cash. <laughs> cash. That's what, <laughs> cash. Cash. <laughs> Never mind everything else, right? Just cash. <laughs> so anyways, um, two years ago, God laid this message in my heart. And there's just some additional insights. And we want to honor moms and wives this morning. So our title is Wives and Mothers Worth Far More Than Rubies. Amen. So in Proverbs 31, I didn't put on all the verses because it's quite long. But I'd like the husbands and the children and, of course, the moms to take time later during the day to read through the Proverbs 31 verses 10 to 31. I just selected some verses. Shall we read all together? A wife of noble character, who can find? She is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. Amen from the husbands? Yeah? This focuses on the husband and wife relationship of how valuable the wife is to her husband. You know, even if you're still single as a, as a lady or as a, a young gentleman, Proverbs 31 verses, uh, those verses, right, would be a good basis to pray for the Lord, to the Lord for a good partner. Amen? So her husband has full confidence in her. Tell your wife, I have full confidence in you. Tell your wife, guys. <laughs> and declare it, right? You bring me good, not harm, all the days of your life. Amen. Declare that to her, right? Bring me good all the days of her life. And then this one, she opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. How many of you are shocked about the news about those Nigerian girls? And yet here within our Fresno and Clovis community, there's also those things going on. And we hardly lift a finger or blink or raise an eyebrow about it. And I just want to recognize Tita Arlene, Cecile, Leslie, and those who consistently visit the, you know, Rescue the Children mission. Because those are part of the things that God wants us to reach out to, to extend our hands to the needy. We pray for the big needs, but the little ones the base, the, those that are around us, we got to get involved too. Amen? I'm preaching to myself too. I got to get more involved. Let's read this. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. Meaning she, she tells you something, she preaches to you, but it's faithful instruction. Meaning it's not just empty words, but she does it herself, right? Otherwise, the kids won't follow if it's just all words and not actions. We, we tell our kids to do this, but our actions tell this. So which one do you think they'll follow? Amen. So let faithful instruction be on our tongue. And all together, she watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. How many? Her children arise and call her blessed. 
her husband also, and he praises her. A lot of hardworking women in this meeting place, right? Amen. Even if you're a professional or you stay at home, you work so hard. Women, moms, wives work so hard. Amen. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. And this is popular, right? Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. So all the things that are enumerated in the previous verses, the main reason why the woman, the wife, the mom can do all those things, if you read the details of how a mom handles her household, that's because she fears the Lord. The priority is in the right order, so she, she is able to go beyond the demands of being a wife and being a mom and being a Christian servant in the ministries that God has called her to. It's because of the fear of the Lord, the love for God. Honor her, right? That's why we have Mother's Day. Honor her for all that her hands have done and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. We will be long gone later on, but the things we've done, the things we've said, the people that we've encouraged will still live on and bring us praise. Amen? And hopefully our children will have great memories of kindness, goodness, and things we've done for them that no other person can do the way we do. Amen, children? Amen. So a wife and a mom, why did Proverbs say worth far more than rubies? You know, last time I shared this, I put uh, worth of precious as rubies. That was quite wrong. The Bible says worth far more than rubies. And far more means far more. Okay? Far more than rubies. So why rubies? How many of you own a genuine ruby? I don't. Right? But we look at pictures and they're beautiful. So first character of a ruby is rubies are red. That's why I asked the ladies to wear red this morning or anything with red. So a ruby separates itself because it's between a pink to blood red color gemstone. And it's actually just aluminum oxide. But because of the chromium element, it becomes red. And the word ruby comes from the word, Latin word rubens. That's why we have the word ruby. So it's so beautiful. Look at that. That's from that, you know, natural occurring stone. And they get that red portion of the mineral. It looks like a heart, huh? And then develop that into a gemstone that it is. 2 Corinthians 4.10 says, We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. Meaning, not just as ladies, right? Not for us ladies only, but as a Christian, we must carry the death of Christ. We must die daily. You remember uh, Eric's sharing last time. There's a battle between the flesh and the spirit. So we got to die daily. And let the sacrifice of Jesus take its effect in us to become a new person in Christ. Amen. So that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. So let's remind ourselves that as the ruby is red, so is the blood of Jesus Christ. And his sacrifice once and for all is effective for the life of a Christian for the rest of his life or her life. Amen. And then second characteristic is rubies are rare gems. Very rare. And it's one of the four precious stones. And popular is diamond, then emerald, sapphire. And then number four out of the four is the ruby. Not in the order of ranking, right? And it's mined mainly in Myanmar, the former Burma. And there are other Asian countries like Thailand where it's um, mined in, in numerous quantities and also some portions of Africa and Macedonia. So it's rare. You don't find it much in the U.S. There's only certain places, uh, a few states where you can find ruby. 
So tell your wife you're a rare gem. <laughs> or your mom, right? Mom, you're a rare gem. There's no one like you. <laughs> you're a rare gem. One of a kind. Okay. So there you go. It's so beautiful. A ruby is rare. Third characteristic of a ruby is rubies are resilient. I just made them all R so you remember. What's the first one? Rubies are red. Then violets are blue. <laughs> Next is rubies are resilient. It's another word for hard. Rubies have a hardness of 9.0 on the most scale of mineral hardness. It's only third between from diamond. The diamond is 10 on a scale of 10. It's so hard, right? 10, and then moissanite is 9.5, and ruby is 9.0. So that means wives and moms, they're not that hard. There's a softness in them. Amen? And we need to be soft in the areas of life that requires gentleness, kindness. But we also need to be firm in the areas of discipline and standing on moral principles, especially when your kids get to that age where they ask questions. Amen. And the only standard we need to have is the Word of God. So there you go. Beautiful, right? The diamond on the, on the right side, the mosinite in the middle, and the rubies. Third, in level of hardness. And God designed us that way. Tough times don't last, but tough people do. We have known, we have people in this church, right, or most of us have gone through tough times. And because of God's strength in us, we are able to stand firm and still praise the Lord and still come out beautiful and shining for God. Colossians 1, 10 to 11. Shall we read all together? Being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might so that you may have great endurance and patience. So that's the purpose of Christ in us so we can have great endurance and patience because life is not a bed of roses all throughout. Ups and downs, right? Easy and hard times, you know, rocky road. How many of you love rocky road? <laughs> Smooth roads, rocky roads, ice cream, right? But God's strength enables us to have great endurance and patience. Life is not a sprint. It's a marathon. And we fall, we get up. We fall, we get up. And it's by God's grace. That we can stand and be resilient. Next characteristic, rubies are radiant. You know, we just been to that brilliance conference. And the radiance or the brilliance comes from the Lord in us. The Holy Spirit working in us. You know, all these characteristics of the rubies, it's not just exclusive to women, of course. As a believer, we must possess these characteristics as well. Because where did the woman come from anyways? From the... The, ri the ruby, <laughs> the rib, <laughs> ruby, <laughs> okay. When yellow-green light is absorbed, it is re-emitted as red luminescence by a ruby. And that's where uh, Theodore Maiman uh, did the laser, the first laser beam using a ruby. So that's where the laser technology started from. So do we reflect Jesus? There's the example, right, of light emitting through the ruby crystal. So Psalm 36 verse 9 says, For with you is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. Apart from God, there's just total darkness. And so as we allow ourselves, the Holy Spirit to move in us, let that light shine through, through and through, right? Not just us keeping that light to ourselves, but let it go through and shine forth on others. You know, people need hope. People need grace. And we have the solutions. 
We don't have to keep it to ourselves. So let that light shine through. Let's read together this verse. It's, we know this, and yet we don't let our light shine. The Bible says, don't hide. We don't hide a light under a bushel, but we put it up so people can see it, and it will enlighten the entire area. Let's read together Matthew 5. Let your light so shine before men that they may see what? Your moral excellence and your praiseworthy, noble, and good deeds and recognize and honor, praise, and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Does your friend, do your co-workers know that you're a Christian? Do your parents see Christ in you? Do your children feel blessed because of the Holy Spirit working in you? Or are we a secret agent for Christ? The world is needing of Jesus. And we are in the last days. You know, we need to talk more about the Lord Jesus coming now more than ever. Because He is coming now more than ever. And it's sooner than we think. You know, we become so used to the world news around us. Oh, another famine. Oh, another storm. Another earthquake. Another war that we probably take it for granted that these are signs of the birth pangs that we are closer, closer, closer to the Lord's coming. So church, let's wake up. Let's have that burden to share to others about who Jesus is, not about judgment, right? That, oh, if you don't receive the Lord, you're going to go to hell, right? People have so much badness already that they need the gospel, the good news that Jesus Christ died for them and lives so that he can give them life and life eternal. Amen? So let our light shine. Shine brightly. Not just a flicker, but bright and shining. Because the Holy Spirit in us radiates, but we can, he can only manifest as far as we allow him to. Right? Because we, we're still in this human body, and the Holy Spirit is a spirit, and we got to daily allow Him to shine through. Let God's light shine through. Next, ru rubies have rutile silk. It's called imperfections, meaning a genuine ruby is not flawless. It has imperfections, like streaks inside, like reddish-brown you know, uh, impurities, they call it rutile silk. And this distinguishes them from synthetic simulants or substitutes. Because you look at your rings, right, those stones, those are synthetic sometimes, right? And there's, they're flawless. But the real ruby has imperfections. And like Christians, we are not perfect, amen? We still make mistakes, but we strive for the righteousness of Christ in us. That's why we got to decide daily, Lord, I will let the Holy Spirit live through me. I die daily. Some of you die daily. <laughs> D-Y-E. But we got to D-I-E daily to the flesh and let the Holy Spirit reign in us. Even though we sin, we fall, but we strive for the righteousness. Because it's the Holy Spirit living out the righteousness of Christ in us. Amen. Not by our own righteousness. Not by our own strength because we will fail. But we allow the Holy Spirit to live his life through us. And we can live in righteousness. So there you go. You see those are inside the ruby gem. And there's imperfections. So that's why we can not judge. Amen. Let's not judge. And we will not be judged. Do not condemn and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. You know, throughout our marriage life, throughout our parent life, childhood, there are situations where loved ones get into conflict. But by the grace of Jesus Christ, by the love of God, we can afford to forgive. Because great is the forgiveness that God has given to us through Christ. 
how dare we withhold forgiveness to a husband, to a wife, to a children, to a parent, to a friend, or even an enemy. We have been forgiven so we can forgive. Amen? So if there's anyone here that you have ought against anyone in your family or loved one or friend, be right with that person and then you be right with God. Amen? Because we are like rubies. We have imperfections too. And time will come when the Lord Jesus comes, then we shall be like him. And we shall understand. But now we see in a mirror, dim, not too clear yet. But when Christ comes, then we will understand. And he will bring us into glorified bodies where we can be one with him forevermore. Next, and the last characteristic of rubies. Rubies are reheated. You will notice it's reheated, meaning again and again. And the word says heat treatments with an S. Because heat treatments, what? Improve the quality of rubies at how much degrees? That's hot. Amen? 18, 100 degrees is boiling point for Celsius. 1800, can you imagine? That's a lot of heat. Everything will be burned away, right? That's why if you want a flawless gem, they keep subjecting it to heat, to heat, to heat. And those imperfections slowly, you know, gradually, progressively are removed until that ruby becomes better and better and becomes clearer and clearer. And the same thing. Sometimes we go through life at 100 degrees Celsius, some of us go through a thousand degrees Celsius, you know, death of a loved one, or tragedy, or accident, or sickness. Different levels of treatments that God allows us to go through. Why? See that one, right? Subjected to heat. According to Zechariah, the Bible says, this third... I will put into the fire. Why? Because I will refine them like silver and test them like gold. They will call on my name and I will answer them. And I will say, they are my people. And they will say, the Lord is our God. So what's the purpose of all this heat? The tough times we go through the trials, right? It's so that God will say, that's my son. That's my daughter. Look how she stood through the tough time. And then we will say, the Lord is our God. He, he allowed me to go through this with victory. And the Lord is my comfort, my refuge, my shepherd. Amen? So that's why the Bible says in James, consider it pure joy Whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And what's the end result? So that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Amen? None of us is perfect yet. But God is working through situations, tough times, because it's in the tough times that we stand still and pay attention. Because when life is easy, we forget sometimes. But when life is tough, we take time to stop and ponder and realize God is working in us to make us mature and complete so that the calling of the Lord can be more manifest and his power will be demonstrated and none of the glory will go to us because we understand and we can declare this is our God. Amen. Amen. So consider it pure joy. I know every one of us have some sort of trial that we go through. For some, for me, 
Your trial may be not so hard, but for others, it may be. That's why we go through different kinds of testings so that we can sympathize and we can pray with them and we can help them find solutions if there's a solution needed. Amen? So rubies have to be retreated. So welcome the treatments of God because otherwise we're not going to mature and be complete in Him. So what again are the letter R's? Red. What else? Resilient. They're rare. There's rutile. Radiant. There's imperfections. And we always have to be retreated. So before I get into the challenge, I want all the wives and the moms to stand. And, you know, I did this two Christmases ago, but I just gave you guys the gems. But this time I took time to hang it on a red ribbon. So give all the men, please come and get and hang this on your wives and, or moms, right? If there's no mom... <laughs> That's a, that's a fake ruby. <laughs> Make sure all those who are standing get one. Moms, uh, Beth, you stand. Steph, oh, Jesse's getting one. All the moms, right? If there's a mo mom that don't have kids here, please... Uh, Give her one. If you notice uh, a lady standing and no ruby on her neck, please give her one. Give to Nanay Han, Nanay Linda. I know. And tell them, right, you're the ruby in my life. <laughs> you're far worth more than rubies. Amen? Say, honey or mom. You're worth far more than this ruby. <laughs> I know some of you got big ones. I didn't have the same sizes. <laughs> Make sure all the moms and wives standing get one. You can wear that to work and tell them the ruby story, right? And share with them how precious they are. <laughs> Thank you. Did you give mom, mommy? So church... When you look at that ruby, you hang it on your dresser or you wear it, right? Remember who you are in Christ. That you are worth far more than rubies with an S. And this is only one. Imagine that. Far more than rubies. Okay, say, honey, I can't afford the rubies. But you are far more worth than rubies in the whole wide world. Amen. So take the four C's challenge. How does, how does the gem, gemologist determine the value of rubies? It's based on four C's. So we got done with the R's. Now we're going to go with the C's. First is color. The redder, the better. If there's a word redder, right? The redder you are, the better you are. The more people see the blood of Jesus working in our lives, the better. Because they'll see and want the Jesus that we love and we serve. How passionate is our love for God and others? Is God number one in your life? Is God number one in your affections? in your finance, in your emotions, in your relationships, you see number one. Amen? Tell your wife, you're just number two. 
<laughs> Next to the Lord, right? <laughs> Flat number two wife, right? <laughs> You're number two in priority. Next to the Lord. <laughs> so with that passion, do we want to witness about what Jesus has done? You know, ladies, bring that ruby to work and tell your friend, co-worker, how precious they are to in the sight of God. And that can be an opportunity to witness in a simple, you know, story. So do we bring color or do we bring gloom and doom <laughs> in an environment? Oh, here she comes. It's gloomy again. <laughs> you bring the rain clouds with you or do you bring sunshine, right? Sunshine, amen? And bring color, red color to people's lives. Or even your spouse. Here she comes. Okay. Right? <laughs> Does your husband get excited or get scared <laughs> when you come home? Oh, clean up. Clean up. <laughs> I used to be rigid like that. Eric will panic. Oh, mommy's coming. You better clean up. Right? <laughs> or do you mean caller? Are they excited? Oh, mom's home. Next C, clarity. Is it clear? Can you see through? Can the color shine through? Can the light of the Holy Spirit shine through us? Do we reflect the beauty of Jesus? Amen? Do you bring sunshine? When you enter a, a room, right? You make people smile and happy. So beware of self-righteousness. And is our message clear and simple? Is it the pure gospel or do we complicate it that people don't understand and not make a decision? I'll think about it when I get to understand it, right? Because we present it in so much complication that people are not able to make a decision right away. It's the gospel, right? God, our sins, paid everyone life. Say it. God, our sins, paid everyone life. Did I do that right? Gospel, right? G O S. P-E-L. Pastor has a version, I think. Right? Okay. <laughs> Amen. Simple gospel. Clear. Next C. So what's the first C? Color. Next C is clarity. Next C is cut. The round is the most preferred. And you will notice most are in round. You know, cut. So to remind us, when Jesus is the center of our lives... The value, our value as a Christian is even higher. Amen? You know, no matter what happens, no matter how the world standards change, keep Jesus as the center. He is the word of God. Amen? Amen. He says amen. Zian says amen. <laughs> and we allow the Holy Spirit to mold or cut us daily into the likeness of Jesus. You know, when you look at this gemstone, how many sides do you see? A lot. Yeah? So, we are a work in progress so that we can become more beautiful, more beautiful, cut here, cut there, mold, 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 until we become a beautiful gem for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And lastly, look at that carrot. Oops. Carrot. The carrot is meaning the weight. So the heavy weight, the better. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> the heavier, the better. Oops. <laughs> One carrot equals 200 milligrams equals 6.5 millimeter in width. The bigger the size, the bigger, the higher the value. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I, I researched which was the most expensive ruby there is, and it's owned by a Brazilian, Brazilian um, philanthropist, Lily Safra. And she donated all her um, jewels, right? And one of them is the Hope Ruby. 
it's 32.08 carat, which is 6,416 milligrams, and it was valued at 6.7 million at an auction. That's just one stone worth 6.7 million. Millions. Your spouse, for 100 pounds, is worth 226,700 carats. <laughs> so see, combine all the rubies in the whole world is still not enough to determine the value of your wife and your mom. Amen? Calculate it, right? Some of you are over 100 pounds. <laughs> so I just put it safe there, like 100 pounds. And then you can go from there, calculate how much she valued at per pound, right? <laughs> the heavier, the higher the value. <laughs> <laughs> is she featherweight, flyweight, middleweight, <laughs> or heavyweight? Yeah, I, I just want to make you laugh. <laughs> and that's the 6.7 million word ruby. It's just a ring. It's the Hope Ruby ring. It's worth 6.7 million, and it's just in milligrams, right? So how many milligrams are there in one kilogram? I forgot, <laughs> a thousand, a thousand, see, and that's so tiny. So trials and testing makes us grow more mature and stronger in the Lord. The Holy Spirit is daily developing in us, what? Character. <laughs> the Lord is developing our character, silency, right, character. So that our carrots go higher. The more trials and testing we stand and become victorious through, the higher our value. Amen? The higher our carrots because we become more and more like Jesus. And that's what we desire. Lord, to become more like you, that my children will see Jesus in me, that my spouse will see Jesus in me. That my parents and in-laws will see Jesus in me, my friends, as you develop your character in me. Amen. Acts 2, verse 17 and 18 says, let's read all together. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams, and even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they will prophesy. Men and women, sons and daughters, regardless of age, God's Holy Spirit is being poured out in these last days. Because the harvest is ready and the laborers are few. But if we are willing, Jesus can use us mightily. Men and women, sons and daughters, allow the Holy Spirit to use us and usher in the harvest. Let's talk to our friends. Because it may be too late. They may come into an accident or they may die or get sick. And you never had, a, when you had a chance, talk to friends, co-workers about the love of Jesus. Who can say no to the love of God? When they see how God is working through you, when you can share your stories of God's deliverance, God's miracles, God's provisions... You know, Carol was just faithful, sharing, sharing to Marites. Who can say no? And come a time Marites gets into an illness that she will need 
a lot of support. So she's open. And there you go. The harvest. Bring them in. Because you never know. People are hurting. People are crying for a solution. People are looking for hope. People are searching for answers, a reason to live. I have here some statistics. Every 15 seconds, a woman is battered. 57% of women are targeted for workplace bullying. One in three girls say they, they are concerned about being physically hurt by their partner. Girls are more likely than boys to be victims of cyberbullying. Only 2% of women think they are beautiful. And I guess the 2% are all here. Amen? <laughs> Amen? Amen? Husbands, remind your wives how beautiful she is. Right? Her color, her cut, her <laughs> carrots, <laughs> her clarity. Amen? <laughs> Let's go out there and make a difference. You know, a lot of the things that women can do, you know, that men cannot do. <laughs> and we both work together to complement even in the ministry, right? So let's always find time to appreciate our moms, our wives, because they are worth far more than rubies. So then just as Christ, you receive Christ, continue to live your lives in Him. Rooted and built up in Him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, and overflowing with thankfulness. I'll skip that. For in Christ, all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form. And in Christ, you and I have been brought to fullness. And He is the head over every power and authority. If you ever feel like you have very low self-esteem... If you ever feel so discouraged and, you know, comparing, don't compare. See yourself in the light of who you are in God. Amen. You were bought by a price. The blood of Jesus is priceless. You are so valuable that Jesus died for you and I. Amen. You are complete in him. There's no reason to be insecure. If your husband or wife forgot to praise you, you don't have to feel insecure, right? Because you're secure in the Lord. Because people are human. They will forget. They will make mistakes. But be assured, Jesus always appreciates and Jesus always loves you. Amen? Tell yourself, I am full in Christ. But we need to allow the Holy Spirit's fullness to overflow and manifest daily. Because you will notice if you don't acknowledge the Holy Spirit throughout the day, you will run out of patience, you will run out of love, right? You will get uh, irritable. But when we acknowledge the Holy Spirit, His fullness, allow Him to overflow. Remember the comparison? Is the Holy Spirit just a fountain sprinkling? Right? Or a morning wash? Or you see a Niagara Falls from within and just flooding you through and even overflowing that others can see and can't help but respond to the love of God, to the grace of God. Amen. So test yourself with the four C's. Doesn't matter if you're round cut, fair cut, oval, amen. Doesn't matter if God is using you as a ring, as an earring ruby, right? As a tiara, as a, as a ruby on a crown, as a brooch, a dangling earring or a stud. Let the Holy Spirit use you in these last days. Amen? So not just the wives and the moms, all of us are worth far more than rubies. Amen. Amen. Shall we stand? You know, I always like this song, Complete.
It reminds us and we declare the truth of God's word that we are complete in him. That the fullness of Jesus Christ dwells in us by his Holy Spirit. So I challenge you, Lord, I desire to go out there and demonstrate your beauty, your gospel, the character. So if you want to, to dedicate your life to the Lord as a precious, far more worth than rubies, you can come to the altar and just commit your life to the Lord as we sing this song, Complete.